Amy and today marks the momentous occasion of the beginning of another series on my channel. It's called Four Seasons of Fashion and the general gist is that I will take one piece of clothing each episode and style it for each season of the year to show just how versatile the piece is and how to wear it in different temperatures. I'm starting off with a patterned maxi dress. You should be able to use these outfits as inspiration for your own patterned maxi dress, but my one is from Shein. I'll link anything I can from the outfits in the description box below, but let's get into the first season. To style this dress for spring, I've gone with my oversized denim jacket, some crisp white sneakers, a pink suede baseball cap, and some light wooden hoop earrings. Spring is often still a little nippy, at least in the beginning, so I always like to have an outerwear piece on hand, especially since I always seem to be cold. But a denim jacket isn't too heavy and it's also a nice light blue, which fits quite well with more of a spring feel. The oversized jacket makes it a little shapeless and if you're not into that whole vibe, feel free to switch it out for more of a cropped tailored denim jacket instead. White sneakers also keep it light and play in with the denim jacket to create a casual cool look. The pink cap ties into the colours in my patterned dress, but it could be any colour that works for you. Finally, the earrings in a nice light wooden finish are subtle and neutral but still light and fun. For summer you don't really want to add too much. The dress just in itself is great for summer vibes but I've decided to pair it with a crochet vest. It's so light it doesn't add any extra warmth when you're already sweating your butt off, but it helps to make the outfit feel more intentional and finished. For shoes, I've gone with brown strappy sandals. They are one of my favorites in the summertime for any outfit. I don't like too many accessories in the summer as they can irritate your skin when they mix with sweat, but large hoop earrings are a great choice. This rattan circle bag is the perfect bag to finish off the outfit, don't you think? It doesn't hold much, but I feel like you don't need to cart as much stuff around in the summer. But maybe that's just me. I totally dig the boho vibes this ensemble is giving off for summer, so I leaned even further into that with a flower crown headband. For the autumn styling of this dress, I wanted to focus in on the darker, warmer hues. To do that, I paired it with some mustard yellow hoop earrings, a dark red crossbody handbag, and my tan Oxford flats. Then, to add snuggly sweater weather vibes, I pulled on my beige grandpa cardigan. This, paired with the Oxfords, lends itself to a slight menswear vibe, which is a great juxtaposition with the floral feminine dress. As the weather gets colder, you can hide leggings under a maxi dress to give the look more warmth without anyone ever knowing. As the weather gets colder, I like to stick to those warmer hues in my clothing. I think it subconsciously makes me feel warmer somehow. So that's what I've done for this winter outfit too. This chunky knit beige turtleneck sweater just screams cozy to me. But if it's super chilly where you are, layer a fitted turtleneck under the dress as well. The maxi dress will hide flannel long johns if you feel the need. The shoe of choice for winter has got to be boots. I've gone with some lace-up tan heeled boots, but heels are of course not necessary and are even potentially hazardous in slippery weather. But that's never the case here, so I'm living for the heels. These are probably my favorite boots to wear in the winter. I actually re-bought the exact same pair when my last pair fell apart. There you go, four weather appropriate ways to wear a patterned maxi dress all throughout the year. There is no excuse not to re-wear it. Which was your favorite? What did you think of my new series? I'm actually really proud of my intro title sequence. <laughs> Is it worthy of a like? Are you keen for more? What would you like me to style for all seasons next? Also, what do you think of my new filming setup? Now that I'm in my new house with a separate room for my studio, I've actually been able to decorate it. I can also leave it set up to go, so it should be easier to get in there and film an outfit or two on a moment's notice. I'm hoping that means more videos for you guys. Subscribe if you're keen for that, and I'll see you in the next one.